Hey Taurus, this is Dana and I am here to do a quick bonus read for you guys because as y'all know, um, I'm a Taurus. If you're new to the channel, I'm a Taurus. Please subscribe. Um, so I needed to do a bonus read because believe it or not, I cannot read for myself. I can't, I just can't do it. Can't read for myself. So I turn out all these tarot card readings for hundreds of people all over the place and I can't even do my own tarot card readings. So um, and I don't know what that's about. I just can't. I think I just, I just, well, as you can see, look at all these cards. I just pull clarifying cards and I'll pull out two, three, four decks. So I just can't do it. So I am doing a bonus read for Taurus because I want to know what the hell's going on. So let's see what's going on. If this resonates with y'all, that's awesome. If it doesn't, that's okay too. All right. So check this out. <clears throat> there is some very serious passionate communication coming in about manifesting a really good opportunity. This causes huge change in a relationship. I'm going to tell you right now, this is about a relationship. This whole reading is about a relationship, right? So this passionate communication about manifesting this brand new opportunity creates a change, a transition and a change in this relationship. It creates a tower moment. Now, when I was asking what this tower moment was about, these three cards came out together. So this tower moment is about communication, action oriented communication with the Knight of Swords that the chariot backs that up, right? It's about progress, forward movement, success. The Ace of Wands is an inspired, passionate new beginning. So just to recap, some passionate, serious, passionate messages come in about manifesting a brand new opportunity. The death card changes everything, right? Changes everything. This creates a tower moment, right? And more than just an epiphany, like a boom, like sudden change, right? When I asked what the tower moment, what, what the tower moment was about, I got the Knight of Swords, which is incoming information, right? Very swift, action-oriented, incoming information. The chariot reiterates that with forward movement and progression and success about the Ace of Wands manifesting a brand new passionate beginning. Two of Swords comes in, right? Two of Swords, this card is about being confused. Being confused, information overload, just like, whoa, you know. And um, this communication that comes in that throws you into the information overload confusion stage is about commitment with the Hierophant card right there, right? It's about some kind of massive commitment. This has you contemplating and reevaluating with the Four of Cups and in decision-making process in the hangman energy. You know, pausing, surrendering to how you feel about the situation, just being real honest with yourself and making a good hard decision right here, right? Five of Cups comes in. This is causing you despair. It's it's causing you um, grief. It's causing you, but it's not despair and grief like, like oh my God, it's despair and grief. Just, just it, it blows you away, okay? It just blows you away. So what we have next is the King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles is, of course, you, Taurus, in this reading, right? So the King of Pentacles shows up. This is representing not only you, but it's representing your sense of security and control and power in the situation, right? You're, you're, you're at the end of this little thing right here going, all right, how do I handle this? You're, you're employing all of your King of Pentacles um, resources to be able to deal with what just happened right here. The Four of Pentacles comes in and says you feel defensive, self-protective, right? So you're feeling self self-protective, locked down. You're in lockdown mode, total lockdown mode. Page of Swords. But you're in total lockdown mode. Be total lockdown mode because this is going right back to this right here. You're in total lockdown mode because 
there was communication that came in from somebody that represented the devil in your past who was shady as fuck in a love relationship. Right? Huh. So this information comes in, right? This information comes in, totally rocks your fucking world. I mean, just rocks it to the core. And um, y'all in lockdown mode and, and employing every ounce of self-control that you have with the King of Pentacles, because this information, this, this, this proposal right here comes in from somebody that was to you in the past, some kind of a toxic restriction, toxic attraction, sex only, um, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, right? The devil. With the Seven of Swords saying that there was definitely some shady behavior. Can't say exactly what happened, but there was some shady behavior. And then the Lovers comes in and reiterates that this is a love relationship or was a love relationship. So what we have over here is hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. Hold on. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. Covered by the Fool card. Brand new beginning and a brand new journey. Now we have these two ugly cards right here, right? The Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords. But never mind that. Because the Five of Swords is saying that where in the past you had conflict, tension, loss, defeat, and betrayal, mind games... You are now open to change with the Five of Swords. The Ten of Swords, backstab, betrayal, defeat, loss, endings, represents regeneration here. So you get this, this, this thing, this proposal that just blows you over, right? From this devil energy where there was shady behavior in the past. And now... You're open to change. You'd like to regenerate. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. And a brand new journey. Or let me say this is the offer that's on the table. Okay? This is the offer that's on the table. Whether you take it or not is totally free will, right? But the offer on the table is to be open to change. To regenerate this relationship. To have hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in the relationship. To have a new journey and a new beginning. King of Cups, reiterating love. Love, the love, 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 love. King of Cups is also saying that this is something that you feel very emotionally secure about, right? Very, you know, grounded in your decision um, as, far as, as far as the feels department goes. Eight of Wands comes on top of him and says swift change, action, movement. Potentially even travel, right? If not actual travel, metaphorical travel towards this person. With the Two of Pentacles saying that there is balance and prioritization in the relationship now. And that this is a turning point in your destiny. What the hell? <laughs> Damn, Taurus. All right. A turning point in your destiny. Well... We have the Eight of Cups. Why? Why? Oh, why do we have escapism and disappointment and abandonment and withdrawal? Hopelessness, aimlessness, and walking away. Because that's what happened. That's what happened with this devil energy. This is what happened, right? They broke your heart and you walked away. Or vice versa, okay? Vice versa, maybe. Broken heart, walking away, despair, disappointment, hopelessness, abandonment, withdrawal. Right? Who, with somebody that you gave and received with on, on the daily, right? Somebody that you shared with. The Nine of Wands comes on top of that and talks about 
talks about, talks about, talks about, hmm. Persistence. Yeah, remember the last reading, Taurus, just a, a week or so ago? You were persistent and you never gave up on the relationship, even though your other person was being stupid, right? You never gave up. And I think this is what this is about, is persistence. Is even though you have all of this despair and you regretfully walked away from somebody that you shared with, you remained persistent in your approach to this person. King of Swords comes in and says there's about to be some serious decisions put down. Serious decisions put down. The Six of Swords, a transition, right? This is actually, it's, it's a regretful but necessary transition, but this card is also a rite of passage. And I really feel that the rite of passage is more applicable to this than, than a regretful but necessary transition because you're starting a new chapter, a new life cycle, a turning point in your destiny. You've been through all the bullshit already, right? Just like this says, you've been through all the bullshit already. So this is a, a rite of passage, especially being followed by justice, right? Getting justice in the situation. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Manifesting a brand new opportunity. Manifesting a brand new opportunity. Justice comes in and says, you know, the scales of justice right there. Karmic law, it, the get what you give kind of thing um, is being handed down to the situation from the universe. There's some serious truth. Second time the Ace of Swords has been in here. Serious truth about the situation. Serious truth. Drop dead serious truth. From an energy that was in the past, a slow moving type of energy. Somebody that maybe just really didn't want to commit in the past. Or was just a player or was preoccupied with other things in his life. Right? So some serious truth comes in, not only about that, but about planning for your future as well. About maybe not, you know, getting married and having kids, but planning for your future like tomorrow. With the Queen of Wands on top of it. This is a very, very determined individual very determined um you know sag leo aries but i also see this card as scorpio sometimes as well so she's very very determined and she's very um persistent and she is magical right she's magical but and i'm not saying that this person deals in magic, but there's just something really, really spellbounding about them, right? And they're coming on strong, very determined, strength underneath it, strength saying that you better hold on because this is going full for full force, full forward, turning point in your freaking destiny, Taurus. Empress comes in and says, we're going to build this is fertile ground by which to build something amazing. Abundance, fertility, power. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. This whole reading right here, blessed by the presence of the Empress. The lovers. Love, harmony, relationships, values alignment, choices. Twice the lovers. Twice the lovers twice the Ace of Swords, twice the Ace of Pentacles, and yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, and twice the Lovers, of course. Love relationship. You're, you're going into, all of this is leading to an abundance of love in your life. Two of Cups says it's a unified love relationship with the Eight of Pentacles coming in. 
going to gain mastery of it, going to bang it out, work hard on it, right? Bang it out, work hard on it, put put the wood to the fire, put, put the gold to the pinnacle, right? And, and create something extremely abundant and beautiful with one another. That is amazing, Taurus. That's amazing. What a really, really good reading. A lot of it resonates with me. Some of it doesn't. A lot of it does. Um, you guys drop me a comment. Let me know if it resonates with you in any way whatsoever. And uh, man, that's awesome. Right on. Namaste.